Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Many of us, when we're living our life, we look at ourselves as the single most important person going on out there, and all of our problems are very, very myopically viewed at, which means we're kind of just as narcissistically looking at just what's going on in our life and not how we interface with other people. You know, it's come to my attention, even in my life, that there are people out there in some serious trouble with illnesses, with things going on in their life that is crucial and critical to their life. Yet many of us take a look at some of our problems as catastrophic when they're really not. You know, personal growth is an interesting venture. When we're personally growing and learning, and also when we're raising a family, sometimes it's really easy to give up what we want in our life and taking care of us for the sake of taking care of our kids or our husband or our wife or making a living for the family. And a lot of times, as I've mentioned in the past tune-ups, someday we're going to get around to doing what we want to do. My theme here lately is about someday, like today is yesterday's someday. We can continue to divert our lives as much as we want, and eventually we're going to be on a rocking chair on the front porch, really, really resentful of all the things that we didn't allow ourselves to do for the sake of taking care of the family or for facilitating other people's growth. What I want you to think about today is, of course, you're important. As I say, sometimes you're the most important thing of all. Taking care of yourself is crucial to being able to take care of anyone else. And if you're not taking care of yourself, you might not be around to take care of anyone else. So taking care of yourself is really, really important first. However, if you take care of yourself and throw everyone else out of your life, that might not be smart money either. We have to find the balance in our life. We have to find our ability to understand our growth is really important, not only to ourselves but to other people as well. The thing I want you to think about today is that all of us are under a tremendous amount of pressure right now. You know, we hear the news and boy, it's not good sometimes. If we shut that off, though, and just listen to the beat of our own vibration, listen to the joy that's still in our life, and look at the things that bring us joy, sometimes it can't be had by monetary refinement. What really is going on is the way you're looking at things. When we start taking care of ourselves, what we're really doing is taking care of our attitude. Attitude is the first thing, whether we're going to cure a disease, whether we're going to lose weight, whether we're going to save our family and our marriage, whether we're going to really, really take a look at what it takes to improve our life. An attitude, first of all, is the thing we have to refine. That attitude has to be one of forgiveness. It has to be one of yielding to other people, yet at the same time honoring ourself and finding that keen balance. Our attitude drives everything. When you wake up in the morning, your attitude kind of decides the way the day is going to go. And even if you haven't got enough money right now, your attitude about it is going to get you to the next day, either in good shape or in shambles. I want you to work on your attitude. I want you to take your attitude and understand that is the single most important thing you can have in your life to heal an illness, to become prosperous, to have joy in your life, and to decide you're living a good life. No matter what's going on in the world, you're living a good life. I want you to really appreciate that. And understand there's a lot of people around you in a lot worse shape than you are. Put love out to those people. Allow yourself to forgive the people that have upset you. And allow yourself to live a full, abundant, and also forgiving life with positive energy and a good attitude rather than disgust, fear, and envy. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to work on that attitude. It is everything you know. Until then, bye-bye.